Hi guys, today I'm Jenny Vargas and now I'm gonna show you how to solve the exact equation and differential equation. Example number one. The quantity of x plus 4y dx plus quantity of 4x minus y dy plus u. Now we need to solve the value of m and m again. Then m equals x plus 4y. Now we solve the partial derivative of m with respect to y plus 4, then y becomes 1, then x becomes 0. Then the partial derivative of m with respect to x to y equals 4. Now, let's see the value of n. n equals 4x minus y. Then the partial derivative of n with respect to x equals 4, then x becomes 1, then y becomes 0. Then partial derivative of n and with respect to x equals 4. Now the value of partial derivative of m and n are exact. Then, let's proceed to the derivative of f. The partial derivative of f with respect to f was m, not with the m, was x plus 4y. Then, let's integrate this y. f, partial derivative of f with respect to x was integration of x dx plus 4y integration of dx then f plus the integration of x x squared over 2 plus 4xy then u y then we get the value of f next we need to apply the value of y. The partial derivative of f with respect to y, then copy the value of f, f plus x squared over 2 plus 4xy plus q of y. Then, the partial derivative of f with respect to y plus x squared over 2 becomes 0 because this is constant. 0 plus 4 x copy, then the value of y becomes 1 plus q of y becomes q prime of y. Next, the partial derivative of f with respect to y plus 4 x plus bring down q prime of y. Then, let's proceed. Then we need to bring down the value of n. 4 n equals 4 x minus y. Then we need to cancel the same variables. Then q prime of y plus negative y. Then to get the value of q prime of y, we need to integrate this y. The integration of q prime of y becomes q of y. Then the integration of get the value of q of y. Then, so that we can get the final answer, let's copy the value of f x squared over 2 plus 4x y plus q y equals z. f plus x squared copy over 2 plus 4x y then the value of y becomes negative y squared over 2 equals c. Then we need to apply multiplied by 2. Then x squared over 2 times 2 cancel the 2 becomes f plus x squared 
plus 4 times 2 plus 3 plus 1 minus y squared over 3 times 2 becomes cancel y squared equals 0. Then we get the final answer. And that's all. Thank you.